Hi, welcome to another tutorial in my series on transformations of trigonometric graphs where we look at the standard graphs that you should know y equals sine x, y equals cos x and y equals tan x. Now in this tutorial what we're going to look at is the transformation y equals f of x minus alpha which represents a translation of alpha units parallel to the x-axis and alpha is a positive or negative constant. Now first of all what we're going to look at then is the graph of y equals sine x. y equals sine x I'm going to let f of x equal the sine x and we should know that graph then is a wave like we've got here going between minus 1 and 1 and what I've drawn this in is between minus 360 degrees to 360 degrees. Now if we were to look at this particular transformation the transformation y equals f of x minus 45 which means that we replace any x in sine x with x minus 45 so we get sine of x minus 45. Now if you look at the x minus 45 and you compare it to what we have over here x minus alpha you can see that alpha is 45 and what that does is it represents a translation then of 45 units 45 degrees in this case parallel to the x-axis so we need to shift this graph of sine x 45 degrees to the right. So this point here for instance is going to shift 45 degrees and it's going to end up here passing through 45 degrees. What I would suggest we do is actually insert 45 degree intervals in, in this scale here on the x-axis. So we'll do that first before sketching this graph. So here we have the 45 degrees inserted here and we split up each interval so that when it comes to sketching the graph you can see that this point now goes through the 45 degrees, the 180, move forward 45 degrees to 225. The peaks have moved forward by 45 degrees and the troughs have moved through 45 degrees. Let's have a look at another graph. Let's have a look now at y equals f of x plus 90. I'm replacing the x in the sine x with x plus 90. So we get the new graph now of sine of x plus 90. So in this one, when we compare this to the transformation over here, alpha is now minus 90, minus minus 90, making the plus 90 that we have here. So if alpha is minus 90, we're going to translate the graph minus 90 degrees parallel to the x-axis. That means the graph, the red graph, sine x, is now going to shift 90 degrees to the left. So this point here will end up going through the minus 90. Here we are, we'll just sketch it in. So hopefully you can see that the red graph now has shifted to the left 90 degrees. All the points, this one here at 180, shifted to the left to 90 degrees. OK, well that's given you an example on how we shift the sine x graph. OK, what I'd like you to do is to have a look at the cosine graph. And here it is. If we let y equal cos x, or f of x equal cos x, what I'd like you to do is to see if you can sketch this graph, y equals f of x plus 45, which is going to be the cosine of x plus 45. We replace the x with x plus 45. I'd also like you to try and sketch this graph y equals f of x minus 90. So we've got the cosine of x minus 90. So you might like to pause the video, come back in a moment and start the video up again and we'll just go through these two graphs. 
OK, let's just see how you got on. Well, with this first one, y equals fx plus 45, the alpha, when you come over here, alpha is negative 45. So that means that we translate the graph 45, degree, 45 degrees, 45 units, if you like, parallel to the x-axis. It's going to shift the graph to the left by 45 degrees. So if we mark in the 45 degrees, we get this. And if we sketch the graph, then what you're going to have, I hope, is this. The red graph of cos x has now been shifted 45 degrees to the left. All our points on the x-axis shift 45 degrees to the left. So do the peaks. So do the troughs. OK? So we have a translation there. And what about the other graph? Let's see what you got for that. Well, this one, for the cos of x minus 90, alpha over here is 90. So we translate the graph by 90 units, 90 degrees to the x-axis. So it's going to shift to the right. So on our original cos x graph, take this point for instance, it's moved 90 degrees to the right, so it's now at 180 degrees. And that happens to all the points. So hopefully you got that particular graph then. OK, well, we've got one more graph to look at, and that is y equals tan x. And I'll give you a question on that to do. So here's the graph then of y equals f of x, or tan x. And we've got the asymptotes that you should be familiar with drawn on it. OK, and what I'd like you to do is see if you can sketch this graph, y equals f of x minus 60, where we replace the x in tan x with x minus 60. So we get tan of x minus 60 degrees. Have a go at sketching that. Pause the video, and when you're ready, come back and you'll see if you've got the same answer as I've got. OK, let's see how you got on. Now when we compare x minus 60 with what we have up here, you can see that the alpha is the 60. So that means that the graph of tan x has to shift 60 degrees to the right, OK, 60 units. Well, it might be well worth just splitting up these intervals in, uh, in intervals of 30 degrees, say. So we'll just do that. So there we have the intervals now, a bit cramped, but uh, hopefully you get the idea. And if we were to sketch that graph in then of the tan of x minus 60, you should have something like this. And you can see that that point there at the origin has moved 60 degrees across. The one at 180 moved to 240 degrees, and so on. And as for the asymptotes, we've got new asymptotes coming in. This asymptote was at 90 degrees, so if we were to add 60 degrees to that, it's going to be another asymptote at 150 degrees coming down through here. Okay, I haven't drawn it on, you can draw it on if you like, but it'll be a dotted line down through the 150 degrees with similar ones at the other angles which you add 60 degrees to. Okay, so that brings us now to the end of this tutorial and hopefully you've got an idea now of how to apply this transformation to any of the trig graphs sin x, cos x and tan x.